hello friends welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to learn how we can make this beautiful form builder using laravel and jquery form builder imagine you are making a school management system and you want to take the exams online so for each subject you have to create a separate form but it's hard for developers to create so you create this form builder and each teacher will create their questions for example they will add a multiple choice question they can add a number or they can add a text field and write their question and give the paper a name i have already created one as an example here for example this math paper if i click the show as you guys can see it will display like this then the students can choose their answers and save it to database we can also edit this math uh, form builder and add more questions add more fields as we want and we also can delete this so let's see how we can build this first of all you have to download this package from this website i will put the link in the description as well you have to come here and click download and download the zip file then you have to extract it and put it inside your public folder assets and form builder in here then after that we will create our routes so let's go to our our route the web.php so in the web.php i already created the codes because if i do live coding it will take too much time so i already built this application and i'm going to explain what i did so you guys can follow step by step so the first step is to create the index file which is here we want to show all our forms in the table so in here if i go to my controller form builder controller app form builder controller as you guys can see i fetch all forms and return the in form builder dot index with the data and if i go inside this it's a just basic html table nothing else with three buttons edit show and delete as you guys can see in here so this is basic html after that the second step is to create the form so for that i have created a blade file with the name of create so if i come to my resources view form builder and create in here i have one input type with the type of text and name of name and one div with the id of fb editor and this is the id and div that i am going to use to create the form builder so if i come here this is the input which i use and this is part is the div part so now in here i add i added the fb editor got this id and initialize the form builder so this is the code that creates the form builder this form builder so when the page is loaded it will get the id of fb editor this div and add the form builder so don't forget to also add the scripts for jquery ui and form builder which we have downloaded it so you have to add form builder dot main dot js after that the, when the user create a form for example let's add some fields in here give it a name test then the user will click the save button to handle the save i have created uh, another function in here which use ajax and inside inside this ajax i send three data one is token one is the name and another one is the form which i get from the parameter of this function and which comes from here from on save method of form builder so when the user click the save this method will trigger and it will call the save form send the form and this form will save send the ajax now let's go to this url let's copy this paste it here find it here so this is the url that we use to save the form and if i go 
inside this form controller create as you guys can see it's simple laravel save function so i save the name in the name and the content and the form inside the content so now let's go to inside our form builder model inside our if i come inside model forms as you you guys can see in here i see this the form field is array because the form builder gave us the data as an array so we will save it in here as an array in our data database so now let's go and click save here so it's saved now let's go to our database to see our data so let's go to our database now let's uh, reload as you guys can see the name has been saved as an string but the content has been saved as an object in here and if i come to my database migrations database migrations and the form in here as you guys can see i choose the type of the content field as an json and also in when the user save the form this field is also json so this is how the form builder gave us the data now let's go to another step the fourth step which is delete so the delete is simple delete we send the id of the form and find or fail then when we found it delete the form and redirect back to our index file so the delete is as usual now another part is the edit part so now if i click here edit let's click edit now the form and the name will be loaded so let's go to our edit blade.php file in here now the for edit everything is same just uh, we have to fetch the data first so for that i have created this ajax method that when the page loads it, this ajax will call out this url and when it gets successfully it will add to the form so for that we have used form builder dot actions dot set data these things you can also find in the documentation which will i will i will link in the description then again same thing that we did in the add we create a input and a div with the id of fb editor then for the save again we create on save method and call the save form same thing that we did in the create method again we send the form as a form name and also we in here we will send the id then when it's success we will redirect it back to index so let's go and see this controller method as well so let's copy this let's go to this method as you guys can see it's again we will find we set the name to name and content to the form that we get from the ajax now after that the uh, let's save this after that uh, we have to also create a controller and meet for for the users to when they fill the form they also have to submit it so let's see how we can do this so the first thing we have to read the form so let's go to web.php in here so let's go to form.read in here in here first of all remember that we have to use form renderer dot main dot js in uh, create we use form builder dot main dot js but in edit sorry in read we will use form renderer dot main dot js the rest is same we create an ajax method that runs when the page is loaded to this url and from this url we get our data and when it's success we initialize uh, our form renderer to the content that we get 
and set the form id also so we when we save it we also have to have the id so this is the way we create a form builder in laravel using jquery form builder hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you like it don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and if you have any questions write it down in the comments and also check the github repo for the source code